What is good, YouTube? It is your boy, JPG, man. And we are finally here, man, on Modern Warfare 3, man. And by the time you should see this video, it should be the next day, not the day the game came out. Because this whole day, I've just been trying to, like, get used to the game again. Like, used to moving around, sliding, and all that, you know. So, um, in this video, man, I'm just going to show you guys the best settings that I've found, that I've tested. Um, if you're just a casual gamer, you know, like, if you have, like, and beast PC and you got a top-notch monitor you got all this you know then this video is not for you clearly you're gonna have more settings than I do but if you're just a basic guy with a scuff like me and uh, not the best display but you know you ain't playing on an 80 inch TV then this video is for you so let's just hop straight into it man um, I guess you guys are probably wondering what my KD is brace yourselves all right it's a whopping 1.7 man <laughs> Not even like, and I got a 0 0.2 win loss. Now you have to understand, I get aggravated very easily. So if I'm dying in a BS way, or I feel like it's BS, I quit. If, like, we could literally be at the point where the game's about to end. If I die in a BS way, I'm leaving. That's just how I am. So I don't know what to think about that. So just take that as you wish. But 1.07 KD is, is, is pretty bad. But. It's just because I've just been testing out the game. You know, I I done I have like the PS the PlayStation Scuff remote. So I've been trying to like do different settings, map different buttons, things of that nature so I can feel comfortable. But you guys aren't here for that story. Let's just get straight into like the settings that you guys actually want. So for your controller man, you're gonna want me, I personally like the L1 and L2 for um for my fire and aim because when I didn't have a scuff, these were the quicker responses than the triggers. Now that I have, the, like the other way around, like there's actually responsive triggers that like can adapt quickly. I'm thinking about going back, but I kind of like it like this because I've been playing like this for years. So that's why I have it like that. Obviously you don't want the trigger effect on and your dead zones are up to you. So that's like personal preference, whatever you like. Um, for me, man, I like to use a 5.5 horizontal and vertical sensitivity and you just want to put a point in right there because that's what it's been for years now so again that's up to you like the but like if you're new to cod or you're just really trying to start getting competitive this is like a good basis everybody usually uses six six by like five five so you're gonna want the aim response curve time to be dynamic um all this stays at one instant off target aim assist obviously want that on aim assist type you're gonna want at default now i was starting at black ops when i first started this game but i changed it back to default because you don't need it black ops is not really the best the default is still the best um and gameplay automatic tactical sprint now this is like the movement stuff automatic tactical sprint you're gonna want to put that on auto move forward you want to turn that off and you want a single tap to run so when you get out of the sprint you can just you know tap it and run like an automatic tactical sprint now all these like these three you want to turn all this off because if you don't you just gonna be like bunny hop not, not bunny hopping but like if you mantle one thing it's just gonna like create this momentum to keep mantling now you mantle pretty quickly in this game you don't want that because you just gonna be like flying all over the walls and you just want to be able to hit your shots now the slide and dive behavior is weird because i have it on slide only and even though i still have it on slide there's like occasions where i still dive somehow even though i disabled the dive the movement in this game is still like it's not clunky but like it needs a little tweak like because they're not trying to have it exactly like 2019 but um they got it pretty down close but it still needs like a little little nerf not, not, not nerf but a little buff but uh this is like warzone stuff that don't matter you can have this on or off if you want mantle only you're gonna want that on mantle only because if you do movement base you're gonna be doing the pull-ups and you don't want to be working out in the middle of a gunfight slide cancel sprint obviously you want that on aim down you want it on hold tactical and I have to change something I forgot if you're on like weapon mount you're gonna want to change that where, where am I looking for 
weapon mounts. If you want weapon mount, you're gonna want to do instant because if you don't, it's gonna have a little delay before you get off and that can get you killed. All that doesn't really matter. Um, and the last thing I can really show you on, man, cause again, I don't have, like my monitor's on the way, but I don't have like the, the big, big monitor right now. So I was gonna wait, but I didn't want to. So I have world motion blur off and I have weapon motion blur off. Uh, program is down to 10. Took that off. The FOV I put on 119, um, not 120. I don't know why, but there was one other thing I wanted to show you guys: you know, color customization. And you're gonna want to put on color filter two and color filter target on both because it just makes everything brighter and more vibrant. I don't I don't really know how what it does, but it just made everything just look better. So, um, and the last one I got for you guys is the audio settings. I used to have it on headphones, bass boosted, but home theater works way better for me. And, uh, yeah, that's really like the only, like, settings that I can really show you guys right now. I want to do like a class setup, not class setup, but like a gaming setup video, but I don't know if you guys would like to see that. So, um, if you're new right here, man, don't forget to like, subscribe. We're going to be grinding out Modern Warfare 3 all year. Um, and we're going to be grinding, man. So the next video I'm going to have, I was probably going to be a class to the video. I don't know if it was done yet, but stay tuned for that. And I'll see y'all in the next video. Peace out.